finally glad that the day is here where I'm getting my hair up. transformed. Well, ideally, I feel taking it shorter would be a great idea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Reveal in five, four, three, two, one. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you know my channel, hi I'm Akanksha. So in this video, we are going to get my hair colored. I think my hair color and cut has been long overdue because uh, even once when I got my color in between, it was like a retouch and not like, you know, complete color. So it's been almost a year or more than a year. And I've, I've not got a full blown haircut also in a while. Beach when I got one done, it was like a little trim. So my hair is quite long right now as well and I'm quite irritated by it I want to like go short mostly and for color I want to do like something which is a little um, ex I don't know why it's like I'm getting naked my straps keep falling off just give me one minute uh, I was saying so I want to go short and maybe experiment a little with the color not really sure um, I'm going to a hairstylist called Mayank I really like his work I, I like you know searched for him on Instagram and I found him and he works in a salon called Camila Albane so I spoke to him he asked me to come down so let's go um, pretty excited uh, because I think it's a change I need after like I've been meaning to like you know there's this thing right like you get sad and then you get like a hair transformation and it's like a new era and I've been made, waiting for the new era since so long but it's just been postponing first I was like you know um, after Bali I wanted long beach wave curls so I was like fine then I was like you know know what I'm doing this era so like a lot of Indians so maybe like after that then I was like okay Diwali is there then Diwali later. finally glad that the day is here where I'm getting my hair up transformed so yeah let's go yeah want to go shorter you want to go shorter yeah because i feel like it's too long now and i cannot handle it right. and uh, i actually want to go as short as i can like for my which face which can. yeah um so i don't mind till here but i also have little thick hair so i'm not sure if it'll look like too like heavy if it's too short so i would ask you like what is the perfect length for me and uh, for color i can we do like something a little red like a burgundy ish yeah because i always had like brown like golden brown caramel brown and uh, if i'm going short it, but i don't want bleach for sure that's you don't have to be, yeah you don't need a bleach when you're using the red specific. okay so i think these are my i want to go short and maybe red and again i would ask you only if that red is suiting me but ideally i feel taking it shorter would be a great idea yeah okay. i mean I so honestly I see very few customers here in Hyderabad specifically that they would take enough to take it short. I mean, I believe this. I was one of those. Density, right? <laughs> when it comes to a density wise, yeah. consider one thing here is that okay, you do got a good neck space here, mm. right? So that would be a good idea. So you would not want it to be like a bob. Right? No, no, no. So you want to keep it a little longer. Yeah. yeah. Hmm? So somewhere around there is yeah. what you're considering. Right. I would be okay with that mm -hmm. uh, if it's going to look good on me. It will look great actually. Okay. I mean, so Bob has variations. Yeah. I would suggest is when you're taking it shorter specifically, I consider more of the natural texture than mm -hmm. the blow-dry results because mm -hmm. blow-dry any which will look good. Yeah. Now coming up to the color. Let me give you a few things about red color. So when you when you choose a red family shade, there's something called the red bleeds. Every time you shampoo your hair, you will yeah. see red on your white towel or a towel or probably on the bed if you're sleeping on a wet hair. Mm -hmm. I feel that red is a good option, but it is firstly dated mm -hmm. when it comes to the color pattern. I think red is now going out of the, uh, the color pattern. Uh, we can surely work around with the red because if you specifically want, you're not dried red, you can surely add up a few shades. I mean, this is what I'm thinking would work out well for you, then we can take a call regarding what you want. Me, I want something which I can, is very versatile as well because I do a lot of different colors, looks and everything. So um, that was one concern I had with red, like will it go with like everything? Like yeah, so red is a color, so 
red doesn't have any value right here. Yeah. I would not want you to only go for a red because if you only go for a red, as I said, after 20 washes, you would see that it will fade age. Mm -hmm. Because the kind of heat you use consistently with your looks, heat tends to, you know, kill the red damage. 20 washes ideally would be like two months. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't mind going in with a red and uh, getting like a color again soon. But if you want to stick to the red family for the longest, you can always have variations. The plus part of the red would be even if it fades out. You tried out a lighter red this time, you might try out a, a, like a wine red the other time. When you have uh, levels of color of red, you can add up with your next colors. So you can do that, not a problem. So yeah, what you said, I think I'm okay with. Like red with brown tones, I that's fine. I mean, but when I mean red, I mean more burgundy, not like a bright red. Yeah, yeah, more deeper. Yeah, yeah. You're not talking about, you know, you're more talking about a violet shade, you mean to say? Or you're talking about more like a plum? Shade chart. Okay. Now, burgundy family shades has a hint of violet. You have to go a lot more wine or probably a hint of red has to mm. be added than going very burgundy because that will be very... Yeah. So, I'll be doing a dry haircut so we get the desired length and all that because this is in which way to me. Okay, you guys, so I'm done with my hair cut and color, uh, but it got dark, and so I cannot really show you the color right now. And I have to go back to the salon tomorrow also to, like, you know, um, take a clip. So, this is um, a collab, but like, I only reached out to Mayank because I really liked his work, so he does want to take a few clips tomorrow in the day. And I also want to see how it looks, and if I need any changes, then I will get it done tomorrow. So, I'm going to go back to the salon and probably I'll show you how my hair looks then. But right now, I love the cut, the color. We are not able to see that much. Whatever I can see, I really love. Uh, but I'm on my way home. Oh my god, it took so long. Like I really went like at 11:30 or 12 um, to kind of get this done before sunset so that we can get clips and everything. Um, but even if after going so early, it just it's seven o'clock right now. Can you imagine? It took me seven hours literally to get my hair done and um, but yeah I'm really excited to see the results I absolutely love the haircut so yeah let's see I'm very excited for tomorrow meanwhile Wait. Sneak peek of my hair a little bit. I love how he watches TV. He's so into it. I like a Tomorrow. Okay, I'm on my way to the salon and um, excited to see the final results. Are you? Are you excited? I'm just seeing it properly as well because uh, last night was quite dark in the day. It's like the first time even I'm seeing the results and um, it is so new to me. But um, yeah, reveal in five, four, three, two, one. But honestly, it does not like. It looks like a new person <laughs> altogether. 
I somehow yes. like the way it's enhancing his skin. I know, right? I actually do not think red would look that good on me. And I think like that patterns in the front is bringing the some color. The patterns have actually created yeah. a lot of what, even though it's soft, uh, yeah. it's a pattern there. And the soft. Yeah. You have options to do I generally something. don't like when my hair is on the side, but like with this layer, this it layer just is actually working too, too, too like pretty. It's actually making you look a lot more soft. Say say, the side flick yeah. is giving a lot more softness. Yeah, I know it just looks really good. A very like a very like I don't know. Like, 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 like a very nice. <laughs> yeah, I, don't know. I love it. So, um, I actually wanted to take a clip for my YouTube as well okay. uh, because usually there are always the questions Asking for colour, cut and what it is. Okay. So, would you like to explain? So, as you came in with a lot of density in the hair and as per the discussion what we had, we would surely want it to go shorter but having a controlled layer haircut. Yeah. So, this is more of a mixture of multiple haircuts where you certain areas have controlled the layering pattern. Mm -hmm the weight line specifically and certainly has enhanced the weight line. Mm -hmm. Where on the crown area, I purposely wanted that texture. Mm -hmm. So I, I did remove a lot of weight, mm -hmm. but also added a lot of texture here. Mm -hmm. Internally here, because you did have a lot of volume, you can see it's got more tapered now. So yeah. I removed a lot of weight line from here, but controlled my layering pattern. Mm -hmm. So this haircut has a combo of two, three. With that, I also utilized my color pattern to enhance the haircut. So my the, the first we did the color and then the haircut, but the, it it was a com combined look mm -hmm. for you, where we wanted the texture and the color to get combined. That's the reason yeah. the placement was done in such a manner, the cut has been done in such a manner, so that that particular pattern enhances. Mm -hmm. So everything was planned. <laughs> and the color, usually they, they ask what color, what So name. these again have multiple combinations. One we've done like a very deep plum. Mm -hmm. I've also used a hint. So you would see reflections falling. Yeah. Certain panels are the deep red violet sort of yeah. a combo. There's also a very subtle, like a shinier effect of a plum, which you cannot see it, but it is yeah. there with the reflection. We've also done a lot of very soft brown panels, again blended. Mm -hmm. I didn't want it to make this color look very tacky or highlight here. Yeah. I wanted that little highlight here, but it's a combination of a highlight and the balayage. Mm -hmm. Very blended, very subtle, but as you keep washing it, as you keep you know styling it up, the color enhances. Doesn't make it look brassy, nor would you know fade out to be very uh, like a very shabby color. It would have a very good option. Plus, you also have a press point here say six months down the line, you want to change it up. A single toner would give us a deeper red colors also, can also give us a nice brown shade also. Okay. So you have options to play around with. Yeah. Okay, that's the uh, details of it. <laughs> Don't ask me again. <laughs> Don't ask me again. Don't ask me going back home after like you know taking the clips and seeing my final hair result and what are the odds dude it is raining like today out of all the days i went only or we like dedicatedly came in the morning today to kind of take the shots in the daylight with the sun because the color will look really pretty with the sun and it's it started raining out of nowhere like in november ending i mean what are the odds i just was like oh no because uh, you know obviously i was excited for it uh, but hopefully like if the sun is out in the day like today um, later part of the day i will kind of take few shots if i can because i also want to see how it looks in the sun it's so gloomy like it's so so gloomy and it still looks very pretty and i mean imagine if the sun is out i think it'll look wonderful um so you did see how my you know hair looks it's definitely a lot of different uh, you know 
situation happening but i just wanted to tell you that um, if you want to get any hair services done and i have a code for you which is akanksha 25 you can get 25% off on any hair services uh, if you get it done by my uncle in that uh, salon so definitely try it out i love what he did with my hair i think he is uh, he knows what he's doing and i love people who are very confident um and like uh, what do you say they are attentive with to what you want and i my uncle and i literally had like a 15 20 minutes discussion of what i want to do only with my hair which i feel like is great because i just don't want to go somewhere and just be like ha hair cut color okay ye ye kar do like it's not like you know you it it's good to know what you're going to do before doing it and i think um um i loved his work like his cut everything so definitely check it out um, um it will take time for me to accept the fact that it is this short um but we will get there but because i am never like i'm not it's like i'm running my hand through my hair and it's like before it starts it's ending and i'm not used to that feeling but i think it's a huge change and i change that i really really wanted and i just feel so light you guys it just feels like there's some weight off my shoulders and my neck and everything is just like i feel so light and it feels so great i can't wait to wash my hair and like be done in like 5 minutes and like ha so much time save also and yeah that's about it for this vlog you guys thank you so much for watching you're going to see this hair from now on and yeah bye